Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Maryland Darling Show, and welcome to another episode of Fountain Pen Calligraphy 103. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of flourishing. We've learned all of the letter forms. We've been practicing the letter forms for almost a half of a month now. When is my writing going to start looking nice, you start, you ask? Well, that takes practice. And practice makes better, not perfect. We left off on spacing, spacing our words making sure that all of the spaces had proper amounts of space in between them. Today we're going to talk about flourishing. <clears throat> we're going to talk about, a little bit about different types of flourishes, when to flourish, when not to flourish. There are a whole bunch of different flourishes out there. But these are the main ones that you will be using on a daily basis. Or the ones that I use on a daily basis that I would encourage you to use. So, let's get down here. All right. All right, so first of all, my page is sitting in front of me, and in order to make it easier, I'm going to turn my book sideways, and I'm going to position my body with the book, okay? I'm going to move the book so that it's in front of, in front of my belly. You can see, well, you can't see, but my belly is here. The page is in front of me. And I'm, I'm writing at like an, an angle so that I'm pulling towards my body. When I'm pulling, I'm pulling towards my body. <coughs> okay, let's talk about um, the simple flourishes. This is a... A very simple flourish of a crossbar. There's the, the, the crossbar. There's the whip. There is the pretzel. There is the entry horizontal oval. Is the capital stem there 
this thing. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, there's a spiral. There's the tail, the piggy tail. And the loop. And then we have compound letters. Compound Compound letter flourish. How do we use these, you ask? Let's flip the page. Make sure our page is dry. Flip the page. Move your guide sheet. So, a word like this. Oh, we'll use a word like that. That. You'll do a crossbar here and a crossbar here. <clears throat> and that's called a flourish. If you have a word like was and you want to make it really fancy, you can do a spiral into your W. Your A and your S. And when you come out of this, you could do an, a whip. You could, but it wouldn't look very good. Not on that one, anyway. So, you'd probably want to do, and this takes some experimentation. You can do a little piggy tail like that. If you have a Y, you could do a nay nay. If you have a word like that, if we could make this come all the way up through and around. And that would cross both of the T's. Or you could go. <coughs> if this is the first letter in the word, you can turn the hat of the T into the stem of the H. Or if you were to do an F, say floor, you can turn the, the loop of the L
the, the hat of the F into the loop of the L. That would be a compound flourish, compound letter flourish, turning one letter into two letters. Um, if you were to say a word like Angela, Angela would be And do a pretty flourish like this. Something like that. Uh, if you're to do an O, say, um, um, <coughs> A name like Orville, Orville, Horizontal Oval. Something like that. Let's look at, let's start at the beginning. So A's, an A you can flourish by extending the universal line of beauty into a a flourish. Let's see, B. You can spiral this one out. You can even spiral into this letter. And you can even spiral into the tummy of the B. A C, you can do a horizontal oval into a vertical oval. Or you can spiral out of a C, a D, you can do spiral into a D, or you can do something like that. E, you can spiral into an E and out of an E. F, you can spiral into an F. You can, oops, you can actually turn the hat of the F into the full letter. G, you can use a horizontal oval into a vertical oval. Or you can spiral into a G. Hello, Juan Diego. How are you doing today? Thank you so much. Uh, an H, you can spiral into an H. All right. An I, you can spiral into an I. You can spiral into a J also. Um, you can spiral into pr practically any letter. An L. Spiral into an M. You can spiral into an 
n we can spiral into a reverse line of beauty and spiral out of an n an o well you can clearly spiral into an o you can spiral into a p a q might be a little difficult an r Maybe you could spiral out the foot. Maybe you could spiral like so. S, you could do, oh, this is one of my favorites. You can definitely spiral into the S. And if you're careful, you can make like a little heart here. It's kind of neat. T, you can spiral out a T. You can spiral U. You can spiral a V. You can spiral a W. You can even spiral an X. Just make sure that you do the, the spiral on the opposite ends of the what would look like a, an upstroke. You can spiral a Y. You can Nay, nay, a Y. You can pretzel an I, a pretzel a Y. You can. Whip an eye. Most of these you can do all, most a lot of different variations. Z you can spiral a Z, and um, there's a whole bunch of different variations of these that you can look up online for doing flourishing. Um, now let's do the lowercase. So the lowercase should be, uh, you can spiral an A, a B, that's a fancy way of doing a B, you can spiral out of a C. You can kind of spiral out of an E, too. A D. You can nay nay a D. You could. Whip a D. <coughs> Could probably even pretzel a D. Just depending on where the word where the letter is in your word, you might be able to flourish it. An E is obviously not very flourishable, but you could whip an E. 
you can you can piggy tail an E and F you could pretzel an F Yep, that's about the only one I can think of that would fit an F. G, you could pretzel a G. You could whip a G. You could, you could spiral a G. Nene a G. Um, let's see, what else? Um, excuse me. Okay, H. Good piggy tail and H. If H is the last word of your letter of your word. You could whip an H. An I, you could Piggy tail and I. You could nay nay and I. You could pretzel and I. Mm. You could whip and I. So there's all kind of different ways to flourish your letters. <clears throat> J, you could pretzel your J. <clears throat> Whip. Okay. I don't know what that was. Nay, nay, or J. K. Good. Whip your K. Good. Piggy tail your K. Good. Make a spiral. L, you could spiral or make a piggy tail or Pretzel. Or Nene. M. You can whip an M. Nene and M. You could piggy tail an M. 
You could do pretty much any of these. You could spiral an M. Uh, same thing with N. O. You can. This is a fancy way to do an O. Entrance stroke and then go into your oval and then out. You could. Spiral into your O. If O was your last letter, you could whip your O. You can piggy tail your O. Possibly nay nay your O. There's a whole bunch of different things. Let's see. Um, P. You could pretzel your P. You could. Whip your P. You could. Spiral your P. Alexa, stop. Q is the same way. Kid. Spiral our Q or pretzel our Q. Whip. Piggy tail or Q. Okay, R. We could whip our R. Or we could nay nay the R. Pretzel the R. Spiral the R. Um, loop the R. There's all kinds of things. You get a loop the R. All kinds of different things that we can do to, to make our letters look fancy. S is the last letter. We can whip the S. I don't think you could nay nay or that. You could piggy tail your S. You could wave your S or you can piggy tail your S or you can nay nay your S or if S is 
And T is the last letter in your alphabet. You could loop your whip through your S to cross it. Um, you can pretzel your T. All of those things. You you can <clears throat> nay nay your o your you <clears throat> excuse me. You can if you is your last letter, you can whip your you whip your you. Nay, nay. Pretzel. V. Whip your V. Piggy tail your V. Spiral your V. Now, when we get into the very specifics of these things, you want to make sure that when you're doing your flourishes, that you're making them even-tempered throughout your flourish. A word like that, that T H. I want to make sure in make sure that they're not like touching but make sure that they have the same amount of flourishiness going on. Um, my favorite word to write is the word writing. Spiral out of my eye, cross my T, and then back into my eye. And it kind of looks like a person hold, holding up their arms like, er, like this, which I think is pretty cool. W is the same way as V, X, good nay nay or X, uh, sorry you can whip your X, nay nay your X, you can do all these things, you just want to make sure that when you're making your spirals that they are incongruent circles of each other and making sure that the sides are evenly mm. 
getting closer to each other. And when you're crossing, say you want to make a, a cross, you want to make sure that you don't cross a thick with a thick. So don't do that. Make sure always to cross a thin line with a thick line. So when you're doing a nay nay and you come down a thick line, you want to come up and through with a thin line and then through with a thin line and then exit your flourish with a little bloop on the end. If it's going in the downward, uh, in if it's going in the downward direction. Um, they is another favorite word. This one, I'm going to make the cross of the T come down and into the ascending stem loop of the H. And then I'm going to pretzel the, the Y and make it come all the way under the word. And when you're making a flourish, you want to make sure it's just as big on the top as it is on the bottom. So this one, I might want to come out just a little bit more just to make the flourish look a little bit e more even. All right, well, what did you guys think of today's lesson? Are you guys looking for a more type of flourishy bits? I am clearly not the, the king of flourishing. That award, that paper plate award goes to Mr. M.G. Ward, and uh, he is a brilliant scientist. If you guys are into flourishing, he's definitely the one to check out. So, that is all for today. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed that one. I hope that you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the little bell, make sure it's set to all so when I upload new content, YouTube notifies you. And I will be back very soon with another video. So, take care until then. Okay, love you, bye.